Our week ends as it began with an awesome display of nature. Steve Hartman caught Monday's solar eclipse with an expert on the road. Under that wonderful waning midday sun. I think it started. I think so. A nine-year-old boy is about to have the greatest experience of his little lifetime. A kid so into astronomy, he takes his planet book to swimming lessons. Dressed up as the solar system for Halloween, and made his third grade New Year's resolution to get a shrewd idea of how the multiverse could be real. It's basically a theory about having not one, but an infinite number of universes. And you'd like to understand it better? Yeah, which I already have done. This is George. Yeah. My son. Can, would you explain it to me someday? I will. And me. And that is his little brother Emmett, uh... who would much rather be discussing anything else. It's just getting tiring for the whole life to be space. For Emmett and the rest of us Hartmans, <laughs> it's like living in an astrophysics lecture hall. Like dark matters holding them together. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> we all laugh about it, but it's also been a marvel to witness. See, George is autistic, and one of the many blessings of his autism is this ability, shared by many like him, to find overwhelming joy in the most underwhelming minutia. By a strange coincidence, the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, but 400 times closer to the Earth. Where's the sun now? Given all that, we made a road trip this week to central Nebraska, found a nice lady who let us use her farm, and waited with the locals. Is this everything you ever dreamed? It was the perfect setting. Not me. Perfect, at least. Are you? For most of us. And as the moon made its way to stardom, I saw something truly marvelous. Dad, it's so cool. So much of parenting is saying no and forcing vegetables. But on rare occasion, the heavens align and you're in the perfect position to feed a passion. 1% left? Oh my God, it's so dark. I know a lot of people looked up and saw something remarkable this week. Look up there! But for mothers and fathers like me, the more beautiful sight was looking over at the reaction of our precious Earthlings. Oh my. Steve Hartman on the road. Now can we go? In Litchfield, Nebraska. Let's go. That's when it's great being a dad. I think George is going to explain the multiverse to us all one day. That's the CBS Evening News. I'm Anthony Mason. We'll continue to follow Hurricane Harvey tonight on our streaming network, CBSN, on our website, CBSNews.com, and on CBS This Morning, Saturday, where I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Good night.